please refer to your handout as we go along. Vital signs are indicators of one's overall health. They offer clues to diseases and help us evaluate progress toward recovery. Vital signs should be taken at rest. Any abnormal findings should be repeated in order to verify the findings. The most common vital signs measured are body temperature, heart rate, respiration rate, and blood pressure. Temperature. A patient's temperature can be measured at any body part. It is most commonly measured in the ear by a tympanic thermometer since a measurement by ear is quick and very well tolerated by patients of all ages. Normal ear temperatures range from 97 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, the average being 98.6. Heart rate. You can measure a pulse anywhere there is an artery. Most people use the radial artery in the wrist. To feel the pulse in the wrist, place your index and middle finger over the underside of your opposite wrist, below the base of the thumb. Press firmly with flat fingers until you feel pounding, the pulse. Once you find your pulse, count the beat for one full minute. You can get an approximate pulse by counting for 30 seconds and multiplying by 2, or by counting for 15 seconds and multiplying by 4. A normal adult pulse is 60 to 100 beats per minute. Respiratory rate. Observe the patient's stomach or chest and watch until you see it rise and fall. Count the number of times the stomach or chest rises for 15 seconds and multiply by 4, or for 30 seconds and multiply by 2. This tells you the respiratory rate per minute. A normal respiratory rate at rest is 20 to 40 breaths per minute depending on your age. Blood pressure. Blood pressure measures the force of the circulating blood on the walls of the arteries. The average blood pressure is 120 millimeters of mercury systolic over 80 millimeters of mercury diastolic. Blood pressure is the hardest vital sign to measure and takes a lot of practice to master. The following steps describe how to measure a patient's blood pressure. Place the patient's arm so that it rests at the same level as your heart. Find the pulse with your index and middle fingers on the inside of the arm near the elbow. Wrap the cuff and secure it. And now place the stethoscope diaphragm where you found the pulse. Close the airflow valve on the inflating bulb by turning the knob clockwise. Inflate the cuff by repeatedly squeezing the bulb with your right hand. Listen to the pulse beat while inflating the cuff. When you can no longer hear the pulse beats, raise the pressure an additional 30 millimeters of mercury. Slowly open the airflow valve by turning it counterclockwise so that the pressure drops about 2 to 4 millimeters of mercury with each beat of your heart. Listen carefully for a pulse beat. The moment you hear the faint rhythmic thumping sounds of the pulse beat, note the reading on the gauge. This is your systolic blood pressure. Allow the pressure to continue dropping at the same rate as before. Listen carefully with the stethoscope for swishing sounds. When you can no longer hear the sounds, read the gauge and record it. This is your diastolic pressure. Measuring vital signs may seem easy, but in reality it takes time and practice to measure them accurately.